thirds. <laughs> yeah, pretty close. What is your name, sir? Uh, my name is Jim Katechi. And what is your role today uh, in our relationship? Well, luckily today I get to sit back and pretty much sleep through the entire day because <laughs> this process is, is all done. But uh, technically I am uh, your content producer. We've been working together for about uh, two or three months on this on this big project. Uh, and today is the live event and I'm really excited for it. And can I describe to you what I think a content producer is? Sure. Yeah. It's, it's like having a babysitter. It's like having somebody make sure that you're on track and that everything looks good the whole way through, right? Uh, yeah, a little bit of that. Um, it's it's multifaceted. It's babysitter. Um, it's the <laughs> it's the person that provides you with homework because I you know, so kind of a, almost like a teacher um, and a hand holder. You yes. know, there's, there's there's a little bit of hand holding uh, and valet, of course. <laughs> yes. And the person that made sure that I got what I would say is the most remarkable coffee, Phil. It is absolutely the best. And I'm never going to be in San Francisco without Phil's. Yeah. Nearby. So cheers to that. Yeah, you pretty much nailed it. I mean, that's that's what a content producer does. And yeah. and you've done a brilliant job, and I'm uh, excited to be here at Creative Live, and we're going to have a great day. Yeah, we are. And we're going to put some video up and hang out so you can see what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Cool. happens to you? You can take a week off and nothing bad happens to you. No one comes around and says anything like, hey, you can take a quarter off and nothing bad happens in that quarter. But four quarters from now, now you're in deep trouble. So you had to do the work when it was necessary, and you can't make it up. There's, I've checked this. And every, I've checked it every way I could. There's no way to cram success in sales. There just is, there's no cramming. It was great for me in high school, and I was particularly good at it in law school. I could cram really, really well. But it turns out for sales, you just have to do the work when it was due. Good? I've been told to move ahead. <clears throat> this will be a shorter segment, and we'll have more time for questions. But especially for people at home, even if you're here in your B2B and you know what a sales process is, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about what this looks like from our side. We looked at it from the buyer side, and I want to talk about the commitments that we want to make. So I'm going to go to this big chart. There's a lot of confusion in the world of sales about what we're doing. And we're targeting our prospective clients. We're marketing to them. We're engaging with them on social, like LinkedIn, for sure. We're nurturing them. We're networking. And we're prospecting. This is not the sales process. This is all opportunity creation. This is above the funnel. And so right now, there are a lot of people telling you that this above the funnel action is selling, but it's not selling. It's actually nurturing the relationship and developing relationships that you need and awareness so that you can move someone into the funnel. So on LinkedIn right now, there are probably eight to 12 people writing something today that says, never cold call again, just write good content, because that's what they say. And they talk about social selling as if you can actually make an ask over social channels, which you can't. It's too clumsy and it's not the right environment to make an ask. And we have a representative from LinkedIn here, and you know this because I've already complained. Uh, somebody connects with me, and within four seconds, I've got a, a two-page in-mail <laughs> describing their services to me and asking me to schedule an appointment with them proactively. He's an expert at that. How'd it go today? So good. So good. It went it went amazingly well. Your your cadence was spot on. Um, one of the things that you we talked about for the last couple of months was the idea about um, we're edutainment, right? We're educating and we're doing ed entertainment. When you spend six hours with somebody in a room locked with a locked door and cameras on you, um, there's got to be a way to get through it and bringing humor and interesting stories, uh, anecdotes to the equation really helped the class just fly by. All right, you're happy with it? I'm ecstatic. People are going to like it? Uh, people are going to like it. Yeah, you know, people are going to like it, um, and I think um, people are going to purchase it. Good. It re really because. Um, the, the information is there. I think they're going to be excited by what they see initially, and it'll, it'll just grab them. <laughs> yep. You get an interview. You've been on camera no, no, all day. Like, yeah, yeah. You're going to get shy now? <laughs> now, I actually am from the very start. Like, I, I, it's usually... What, what happened to the fist bump? I mean, so we rehearsed, it was like fist, then elbow bump, and then you take off, and then... It got too you complicated just... for me. I mean, like... It's you know, a fist elbow. bump. It could, have, it could have gone horribly wrong, because I could have... 
you know, there could have been a, a non-connection, I could have forgotten the elbow, or elbowed you in the face, or something. That would have been bad. Or, like, or you'd elbowed me in the face, which probably would have come off worse. It would have come off pretty poor, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. You're <laughs> like setting the tone for the class. Thank you for leaving me hanging. Okay, I'm sorry. What was your favorite part of the day? Um, favorite part of the day, honestly, I mean, I was, um, in terms of for me to actually take, you know, to take away, um, I think there's a lot from the course that I'm going to be using in my daily work and life, because uh, I think it works on quite a few levels. I could uh, easily use some of this, these tactics for um, relationships with work colleagues, my husband. <laughs>